Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. Well today I'm going to show you how to do the broom with a coffee filter. Uh, I saw many of them and they're made with the Tootsie uh, Roll Pop. It's that the one with the gum in the center or the toots Tootsie Roll. And to be honest with you, I don't like the way that it stands. It's too heavy and too big. So uh, today I stop at the store and I get some uh, Dum Dum uh, lollipop. Those uh, little one. It's the Dum Dum. So I'm going to show you how to do this with them. First thing we're going to do is take your coffee filter and it has to be the natural one. Fold it in two. Fold it in two again. And fold it into again. So it's going to give you eight layers to be exact when you fold it, it this many times. So you get eight layers. Take your scissors, put it right where you get all close together, and cut, and you get about, oh, I would say maybe one inch in the bottom there, and then cut little layers. And it doesn't matter if it's uh, equal the layers or not, because it's a broom. And okay, the tip here, you just want to barely touch the tip, just a tiny, tiny little bit like this. Now you're gonna take your lollipop. You're gonna take a sharpie, and me, I like, and I push this here. Here we go. And you're going to take um, a Sharpie and just color it. And I like brown. Instead of black, I like brown like to make it look more like wood. So I just color this. And I should have done this in advance. And after you're done coloring this, we're going to pass this in our coffee filter. And while you color this, you might as well do the tip on top, too. Let me finish this here. Even if you get a little bit of white showing, it's just going to give a little bit more character, I'm sure. And I'm going to do the top. Okay, now you get your uh, broomstick done. Take your uh, coffee filter that you all cut out. Let's open this up. Voila! And you see just a little tip that I did and look how bigger it is. So that's why you just want a tiny bit. Pass this in. I want this one, the paper was very high. I'm going to push this. And you see I get more there. I'm going to color that after. I won't worry about it now. Take some twine. And what I do about twine, I do about, oh, let's say about between 8 and 10 inch. Fold it in two. That make it easier if you're just uh, alone, you know, to tie it up. It make it easier. Just squeeze this here. Put that there and then open your loop here. Pass this. Oops, you have to make sure you get both layers in. Let's do this again. Okay. Fold this in two. Put this in the bottom of your lollipop. Open your loop and then slide this. So then you get a chance to really tight it up. So then I just do a bow. That's it. A single bow. It's going to keep this tied up. Voila. And then just fluff it up. And look, this one here really stand up very good. Those ones that are stubborn, just place it. And then here we go. So then you can make it stand a lot easier than the big one. It's too heavy, so it just go down. 
and then this is the boot in the stamp set the beautiful occasion it's this one and the saying it's grab your broom and cast your spell and shake your booty it's perfect for this so the boot I take the two and a half circle punch and punch it out let me move this I just gonna punch this out here we go and then I took the two and three eighth and you can use any color that you want I'm using the eggplant for this one punch this out that's not the right size though what did I use okay it was the reverse silly me um, the eggplant you're gonna cut it out with the full circle so let me grab one right here okay the two and a half circle it's done with on the eggplant and then you're gonna take your scallop <clears throat> yeah your scallop the two and three a and cut your boot with it and you know what let me grab another one I got another one right here here we go now this fit perfect on this and I put that with dimensional so we're going to use two or three dimensional I know I'm going to fix the other boots when I'm off uh, the video there here we go and if you saw the other boots I don't know where it flew off but I add some um, some of the glitter on it and I think it looked darn cute oh here it is see how cute that is with the glitter there I think it add a good little touch then this just take your tiny old punch and punch that right here and I'm going to use another piece of um, linen thread poke poke this through here oh, I just get one piece there I know I got the dental floss thing that do this perfect but I never think of getting it out till I'm in the video so hmm maybe it would go faster if I look for it there we go then I just gonna tie a little knot there and then bring your broom attach this around just with a little bow and then my uh, greeting like I said I stamped the I should have add a little bit longer here so I can do a little bow here we go and then the greeting I stamp my greeting let me stamp one quick and I use the ticket punch to punch it out that fit perfectly fine and if you girls would see our gentlemen whoever's watching my mess you would say oh my and I put this right here and this is the punch I'm using the ticket punch it is perfect for that then I had a piece of <clears throat> excuse me a piece of the pumpkin here we're gonna put this right there and I could have tied that up to with um, when I pass my uh, thread in but I forgot so that's okay I just gonna add it right there and look how cute this is this is it oops just crunch it and look it stay perfectly up oops 
the more you play with it, the easier it's going to get. Voila. This is it, my friend, to make the broom. Hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.